Welcome to Trust, Compassionate House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaiquat Campus, Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling, addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer, you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaquant, current campus. You can call us on 0743878151 or 0711681422. Our email is cancellingc442 at gmail.com. Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza ku... Welcome brothers and sisters to this Eucharistic celebration. We also welcome all those joining us during this Holy Mass live on Capuchin TV from around the country. Intentions requested by viewers through Capuchin TV are as follows. Special intentions for Joseph Mwetu Mui and Elizabeth Siombuo. We pray for healing and recovery on Losing Endo and Peter Otieno. Eternal repose to the following faithful departed. Nicholas Kivuva, Joseph Ondari, and Peter Ndachi. May they rest in peace. Sasa miguwe tu imesi mama Nyumba ni mwako Yerusalem Tuingi yetu Iye kwa yawe buwana Fura hagani siku ya leo Tuingi yetu Iye kwa yawe buwana Fura gani siku ya leo We join Mary and Juliet Gitea Birthday Thanksgiving Michael and Jeroge and family Special Intentions We pray for the souls of all souls in purgatory. Together with our intentions, we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon. Today we celebrate the passion of John the Baptist, that is his martyrdom. John stood for the truth and he paid for it. For the time we were back, when threatened over the truth, we ask the good Lord to pardon us and help us follow the footsteps of John the Baptist and he is the one he came before him that is Jesus Christ our Lord. I confess to Almighty God
through my fault, through my fault, through my more previous fault. Therefore I have blessed many of my all in your senses, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the God and Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your son, both in his birth and in his death? Grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may find heart for the confession of what you teach through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Jeremiah. In those days, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Guard up your loins, arise, and say to them everything that I command you. Do not be dismayed by them, lest I dismay you before them. And I, behold, I make you this day a fortified city, an iron pillar and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its princes, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. The word of the Lord. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Free me. Incline your ear to me and save me. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. Be my rock, my constant refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. My God, free me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. It is you, O oh Lord, who are my hope, 
my trust, O Lord, from my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth, from my mother's womb you have been my help. My mouth will tell of your salvation, Lord. My mouth will tell of your justice, and all the day long of your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonder still. My mouth will tell of your salvation, O oh Lord. Alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Herod sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and kept him safe. When he heard him, he was much perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and the leading men of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will grant it. And he bowed to her. Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry but because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard and gave orders to bring his head. He went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head on a platter 
and gave it to the girl. And the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good and all the time in a certain country an officer, a surgeon in the security went around on his duty but came to a certain building and decided to knock on that door. The door was opened and then he was greeted with a paper. He was told that you sign this paper and when we succeed, now you are a surgeon, you will be a captain. God is good and all the time, what was happening? The people in power were plotting a coup to overthrow a government and that is treason and so they bribed him with a promotion he was having only three this one a surgeon he was told when he if he signs and they succeed in their plot he will be a captain a great young well, I would like to leave the story there. Let us go back to the readings of the day. Jeremiah is told by God to go to the kings, the princes, the priests, and who is who in Israel, the leading men and to tell them everything God commands Jeremiah to tell them. And now imagine Jeremiah, just a simple man, going up to these people to tell them that they are not on the right side, that they have abandoned the ways of the Lord and have indulged in all practices of all sorts of corruption, killing, robbing, doing what they please because they are in power. And God tells Jeremiah that should he become afraid, he is the one to make him shameful before them. So Jeremiah chose God over the fear of people and decided to be brave to tell these people the wrong they are doing. The same with John whom we are celebrating his passion, his martyrdom today. So our theme would be the choice. What do you choose? Do you choose lie over truth? Do you choose justice over injustice? Do you choose the side of God or the side of men? Jeremiah and John chose the side of God and decided to face the establishment of the day. We don't know what happened to Jeremiah, but we know what happened to John. John challenged Herod for robbing his brother's wife. And it was not liked by Herodias, who was in power in time, and was waiting for an opportunity to get John and teach him a lesson of his life for interfering into their corruption. We have seen this choice 
Herod, although he knows John being a righteous man, and a man of God and holy at the same time, he feared people over God. And so he sacrificed John for his honor before the oath he claimed to have made before the guests. He kept it by killing John. That is choosing people over God. That is choosing injustice over justice. And so to us as well, every day of our life, we must have encountered such situation. Someone tell you, if you agree with this, for a few bucks, it is okay, sign here, like this poor surgeon. But you have your conscience, which is God speaking in you. You have the choice to say no. And when you say no, there are consequences in some instances. You have to pay for standing by truth. We are Christians, the followers of Christ. And John was a foreigner of Christ. He exhibits the characteristics of the one who was to come after him. First he stands by truth, he challenges the establishment for the wrongs. And he paid for his life. It is the same footsteps that Christ will follow. To stand by the truth and face the establishment of the day of how they were mistreating the common man. And still Christ would pay for that. We as Christians, we, we are not exception from this for those who are truly Christians. Those who really believe in these teachings of choosing God over the fear of men. You will be persecuted, but I feel it is better to stand with God, to stand with truth, to stand with justice over the fear of people. Because um, people can go away and take a lie to be the truth and tend to persecute those who stand for the truth even if they are few people. And so this feast today reminds us, reminds us of our call, that our call to Christianity involves challenges of facing the establishment of the time and it is not also, it is also available in our current days. There are such situations where people may ask for your head on the plate for speaking the truth, for following the footsteps of Christ. So let us take the choice. God is good and all the time. Thank you. We are gathering together unto him, unto Jesus. We are gathering together unto him, unto him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together. Unto him, we are offering together unto him, unto Jesus. We are offering together unto him, unto him shall the offering of the peace.
We are praying together unto him and to Jesus we are praying together unto him and to him shall the praying of the people be we are Jesus, we are singing together unto Him, and to Him shall the singing of the people be. We are singing together. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through these offerings we will bring you, O Lord, grant that we may make straight your paths, as taught by that boy is crying in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give them to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought a new world to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins, and by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, we will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Tell this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
We will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you may hell us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your choice spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis our Pope and His Grace, Philip Agnola Archbishop and his assistant, David Kamau, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And as of far, each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter the mind. But only say, Lord, I am not so. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, celebrate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. 
from the wicked forward defend me at the hour of my death call me and bid me come unto thee that with the angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the heavenly birth of St. John the Baptist, that we may revere for what it signifies, the saving sacrament we have received, and even more, may rejoice at its clear effects in us. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. We will go forth in peace and love of Christ. Have a beautiful afternoon. Thanks. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Kapuchin TV ile support tunapatia Kapuchin TV ni muhimu sana kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu na ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 510678 account name caps tv you are watching capuchin tv for any complaints 
comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at cappuccintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. St. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills, and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rossell House in Karen or contact us on 0722-306-030 or 0739-309-593 or send an email to info at rossellhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentthereze.ac.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College. Actualize your full potential in life. Your Lordship Joseph Maluki Mongela, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kitui, grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. At the height of COVID-19 two years ago, on this date, 29th August 2020, at the Charles Nwanga High School grounds in Kitui, we, Capuchin TV, witnessed and aired live our first ever Episcopal ordination and installation celebration. As you mark two years of your Episcopal ministry, Capuchin TV wishes you God's graces, blessings, and good health as you continue to serve God and shepherd His people in the Catholic Diocese of Kitui. Muhasham Joseph Mungela, Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kitui, congratulations on your second Episcopal anniversary from Capuchin TV. Keep watching! Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. The Parish Priest and Parish Pastoral Council of St. Benedict Parish, Raraka, have the pleasure to invite individuals and corporates for a special dinner that will take place on Friday, 9th September 2022 at St. Benedict Parish Grounds from 5 p.m. 
Proceeds go towards construction of a new church at St. Maura's Mothari North Area 3. I wish to welcome all of you to come and partner with us to do this fundraising dinner towards construction of a modern church in St. Maura's place. This is in Madare Area 3. Welcome and be a part of us. We will be glad to have you to do the house of God. Thank you so much and God bless you as you plan to come. Thank you. The KCCB St. Luke's College of Health Sciences North Kinangop is open for applications for September 2022 intakes. The college is certified by the Nursing Council of Kenya and TVET to offer diploma and certificate courses in nursing. Our college was established in 1991 and all along it has, uh, we have graduated uh, one, over 1,200 nurses who are working in our country and even outside country. And currently our college is offering more than 12 courses. Our diploma courses include Diploma in Kenya Registered Community Health Nursing, Diploma in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Diploma in Community Health Assistant, Diploma in Counseling Psychology and Diploma in Health Records. Our certificate courses are Certificate in Perioperative Theatre Technology, Certificate in Community Health Assistant, Counseling Psychology, Certificate in Health Records, and Certificate in Social Work and Community Development. We also offer KCSE Bridging or NEC Receipt for candidates who wish to enroll for Diploma in Nursing. We are located at a serene environment in Nyandaro County, approximately 20 kilometers from Naivasha Town. Our college is uh, situa uh, situated in uh, North Kinangop, Nyandarua County, in the skirts of uh, Abadea Ranges. And it is at the next to North Kinangop Catholic Hospital, a place called Kwangodi. Seize the opportunity in our ongoing September intakes. For further inquiries, contact the college principal on 0720-430-311 or 07804303312 or send an email to kec st luke's at yahoo.com you shall be my witnesses